Okay, so on this video here, I'm going to show you how to do a sweep charge. Now what I just did was I repaired a broken line on the suction line for the refrigeration compartment and I put a little piece of 5 16 tubing in there uh, because it's, it's a little short. I didn't want to bend it in and kink it. So yeah, I re also replaced the filter dryer and I pressurized the system with I don't know, nitrogen went up to almost, let's say maybe 300 pounds, 250 pounds. I'm not getting any leaks. I checked, I checked all the joints. So now what I'm going to do, a sweep charge, is you drain all the nitrogen out and then you run the compressor and you let the compressor pull out any air that might have gotten into the system. And when you're in a deep vacuum, uh, most moisture will evaporate anyway so we'll do that next okay so now well we put the top drawer in so we get the controls it's plugged in what we're going to do now is we're going to drain the nitrogen out Make sure it's all out. I usually put it up to my ear and I can hear it when it stops. And then we're going to hook up a, guy, a hose. Or you could also take the Schrader port out of the high side, the dryer side, like this. And then when you turn it on, the compressor is going to start. It's going to pull down into a vacuum. It's going to suck all the air out of the system. Then, after that, you recharge it. Now, in most of my videos when I work on sealed systems, I've just failed to mention that I always do a sweep charge before I charge the system up. So, and I had some uh, subscribers uh, question uh, my methods. So, now that you know, you always do a sweep charge because when you disconnect the hose, from your um, your seal system, even though you might be in, in, if you're in a deep vacuum, once you loosen this hose and that Schrader port is open, it could suck in some air, a little bit. But uh, anyway, this is how it's done. So let's turn it on. Okay, the compressor's running. I can hear. Sucking any nitrogen or air out of the system. Once that stops, and you leave it into a vacuum. You purge your Freon tank or charging column, whatever you use. You run some refrigerant through the system before you remove the hose, just to make sure you've gotten all the air out of the system. And that's how you do a sweep charge. Okay. Now, this system here takes three and a half ounces of R134A, and I put in here four ounces. You got one, two, three, four, because I'm going to run a little bit of Freon through the system so that it comes out the discharge, the high side, so, that no, so we know that we flushed all the air out of there. Okay, so, and also, if you didn't know, you, you never put liquid in the system. You always put vapor. Otherwise, you're going to break your compressor. I'm going to hook this up to the suction line. I'm going to hold this up to my ear. And as soon as the refrigerant comes out, I'm going to shut this, disconnect the, the hose. And then we can just put the fray on it. Okay, that's it. Got all the air out. We'll put our, our caps on. We'll put a cable tie around here so this doesn't vibrate. Then we'll open this up and let all that Freon go in there. And we should be go, good to go. Now the rest of the machine, uh, I have to fix the wind section, but 
There's one other problem with this unit, this condenser fan motor, which I disconnected. I don't know if you're going to be able to see down there, but you see that bolt? There's no nut on the end of it. It broke off or it's not on, so uh, this unit was making a little bit of rack racket, a little bit of vibration noise. So I'm going to take the condenser fan motor out and fix that so that we can get a nice tight fit on there. All right, so let's finish charging this up and uh, move on to the next project.